is Samuli King. On days like this that I like my job. The taxi, the jam, the traffic, and maybe, I don't know. Hear that? Well, that must be a big... Hey human, welcome aboard. I'm excited to take you on a tour of the Toro Samliki area where we'll be looking at crater lakes, we'll be touring hot springs, we'll be looking at uh, waterfalls, we'll be looking at caves and all that. So stick by and let's enjoy this. Headed to the female hot spring again in Simliki National Park. Uh, I was here last year in December around 23rd and um, I'm back on December uh, 28th. So, this is fun. Hot Spring uh, at the Sempaya uh, site, and uh, I've been here before, but it is more fun because it's not as crowded right now. So, we are going to walk all the way to the other side using these walk boards because down it's uh, first of all hot and hoggy, so we can't walk in there. So, what we're doing is follow the walk boards to the other side. See you. It is my pleasant duty to inform you that this water heats up to 95 degrees Celsius. That's where we are able to boil the eggs and the bananas and, you know, do all the fun stuff. So you must be careful while visiting the same lake side because you don't know what could happen if you fall. and we are in the forest we've been watching some i think white and white and black culvases are they i don't know these ones have um orange tails so i'm going to have to find that out but i think it's just beautiful being out in nature very calm very green and uh just really watching things happen like watch a nut drop from a monkey's tiny hand. These are some of the things that we miss when we are, you know, in the city hustling and every day is like yesterday and every day feels the same. But when you come this side and uh, just say, you know what, let me, let me just go have a day in nature. Let me go enjoy some time without thinking about the taxi, the jam, the traffic, and maybe, I don't know, hear that? Well, that must be a big monkey. <laughs> the ones we've seen around are kind of small. The sound was quite a bang. So yeah, uh, we are still doing the four day tour of uh, Toro Semliki and then tomorrow we'll be heading to Queen Elizabeth National Park, which is always as fun. So very excited to be back in Semliki. We've just toured the female hot spring. Uh, hopefully time allows and we go see the male spring spring uh the hot springs so yeah very excited really there's another one i think we're going to have to keep this short and get to watching monkeys Next, after uh, the Hot Springs tour and the Semliki uh, National Park, we headed out for the Chigana Hill Climbing Challenge. And we were excited, of course, to be at the top and enjoy the beauty of the three lakes that, you know, are beneath the hill. And here it is. On days like this that I like my job. Travel, see nice places, look at the falls, experience nature. 
and go back home and do some writing. So we are headed to Mahoma Falls. Uh, I'm told Mahoma uh, means a snake. That's where the name was derived, like M. Homa, which should be a snake in the local language here. And uh, yeah, let's go see what we have. Uh, up, we have a soft drop. Uh, that's why you see it's dripping, uh, because it's a soft drop. So water manages to pass because we are in a rainy season. It keeps on dripping because it keeps water. And here down we have a uh, hard rock. So this rock, as you see, it's favorable for harbor, for harboring people. And um, uh, that's why we say that uh, they were for cavemen. Uh, the people, the cavemen, that the people used to come here and stay here for harboring. But due to the increased population in the area. They decided to, re alloc to relocate to forests because they don't like to be disturbed by people. And so, due to that associ association, they decided to go in the forest and leave these places uh, blank. Now, now the communities come to take advantage of them. And um, before coming in use uh, for tourism and all that, it was used by the local communities who would come here to discuss meetings, uh, which separate meetings, like uh, they would come to uh, carry out marriage ceremonies, they would discuss from here, they would come with coffee, uh, coffee, this one was used as a sign of trust. Uh, as they are discussing the marriage issues, um, they start eating the coffee uh, to show that whatever they are speaking, it is a word that each of them should take at heart and they should trust each other. And then that's where the blood initiation would take place. Uh, they would have a stone knife where they would cut their soaps with their hands or in the hands, and then they join the blood to show that they agree. And then from here, now they would go to the bottom of the falls to have a flickering shower, which they believe we believe in the African tradition that it is a blessing. It washes away uh, the sins. So from here they would slope down to the post to have a blessing of which now we are going to go there right is Lake Nyamiteza or the Nyamiteza crater which is right at Lodge Bella Visitor. So until my next adventure, cheers to life, cheers to more trips, cheers to more fun and cheers to the best years ahead.